Today, we're gonna make tofu bacon. Crispy, chewy, salty, fatty, delicious bacon. And then we're gonna make a BLT with it. I have all my BLT ingredients ready to go. First tip that you need to remember in making this tofu bacon is you wanna use extra firm tofu. You'll notice that it's firm and it's kind of springy and it's actually, wouldn't you say it's already kind of the perfect width for bacon? Okay. Instead of trying to make it too complicated, I'm literally just gonna slice it. And the thing is, is, is the pieces can be different in shape and, and a little bit different in texture because what's gonna happen is it's gonna fry in the oven. And so, like for example, see this little end piece? That's gonna get a little burnt and that's what gives it that distinct bacon flavor. So when you're cutting this, it doesn't have to be perfect. What I will say is you don't want it to be too thick because then it's just gonna turn chewy. So we're looking for a little chew, but we're looking for more crisp and chew. We're gonna make the marinade. First up, tamari. I love using tamari because it's really rich and buttery and savory. It's also gluten-free. Now we're gonna add liquid smoke. I like to use Colgan liquid smoke. You can use the hickory or the mesquite. For the oil, we want to use a neutral oil that can tolerate high heat. So we're going to use sunflower oil. You could also use avocado oil. This substance makes the world a better place and it makes me happy as a vegan. I've used this probably way too much, but I'm fine. I literally put it on everything. It's called nutritional yeast. And if you look closely, it's like this flaky powder. When people don't know what it is, I always say, imagine if you had a really rich like vegetable stock and you like laid it out on a surface and then you dried it out and dehydrated it into like a thin layer of the powder and then you flaked it and you put it in a jar. That's kind of what nutritional yeast is. It's delicious. We're gonna use it. So we put all of that in the marinade. We're gonna add a little bit of yellow mustard. It'll help emulsify it, and it also will give it a little bit of flavor, a little, a little tang. Okay, as you can see, it has turned into a nice thick dressing. Two parchment lined baking sheets. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bake these, then halfway through, we're going to flip the bacon and then rot flip the pans top to bottom and then rotate the pans so that everything bakes evenly. We're gonna dredge the tofu into the marinade and we're gonna bake it on the baking sheets in the oven. By the end of this, these, these baking sheets and the parchment paper are gonna look like they've been through it. Because they have. We're basically frying the tofu in the oven. And while this cooks, I'm gonna show you the ingredients we're gonna use for a BLT. This is my favorite kind of bread to use. So this is a soft ciabatta bun. So ciabatta is a high hydration dough, which means it's going to be really fluffy and airy. So I'm gonna slice one open and show you the crumb. And if you look at the crumb, it's open and soft and squishy. So we'll slice the bread and then before assembling the sandwich, we're going to lightly toast it. Next up, lettuce. You have to use iceberg. There is no other lettuce to use, in my opinion. Iceberg has that crunch factor. It has the juicy factor that we're looking for, and it's also refreshing. We're gonna slice the bottom off. There's this core in here that you don't want. So then you can just cut it in half. And instead of washing it, I just compost the outer leaves. Do you understand what I'm saying though about the crunch factor and the juicy factor? Because look at this. For a BLT, I think a slicing tomato is best. So what I do is I do two slices on each sandwich. So I do them about this thick. So that's like, what, a fourth of an inch? And then what happens is, you're gonna have these pieces. 
And these you just eat. So, I'm gonna put a little salt. Mmm. The last and very important ingredient is mayonnaise. So I like to use vegan mayo to make this BLT completely vegan. It's very important to use that for the sandwich. It's going to give it that creamy texture and there's just something about the combination of bacon, lettuce, tomatoes, and mayonnaise that it's just, it's, it's literally my favorite sandwich. The bacon's been in here for 25 minutes and we need to cook it for an additional 30 to 40 minutes to get it to the right texture. So now this is the thing. Remember, the bottom one is gonna go on the top. And do you see that? The bubbles? See those bubbles? That's what I was talking about. It's such a great sound. Now remember when I said you gotta have those pieces that are small and they're done? It's hot. We get to eat that right now. And by we, I mean I. I'll share. We're gonna rotate. So this was in the bottom like this. So we're gonna put it on the top like this. in a really like sloppy way, you know, like make a lot of noise. You want people to think you're working really hard. Timer, 30 minutes, then we'll see. Now, depending on your oven, you may wanna cook it a little bit longer because your oven isn't as hot as mine. Also, if you cut the tofu bacon thinner than thicker, it's gonna cook faster. So, depending on your knife skills, you may have to cook it a little bit longer. What we don't want is we don't want the bacon to burn too much. We're just looking for some burnt edges for that flavor, but we still want the chew. And this looks perfect. So if you look, we have a nice color. And if you look at the edges, we have some nice browning. Look at this curve. I love it when it does that because that's what bacon does. Let's get a bite. It's so flavorful. Your mouth like salivates. Cause it's so good. It's crispy, it's chewy, it's fatty, it's rich, it's bacon. Tofu bacon. Guys, we're done. We're ready to make the BLT. First up, we're gonna toast the bread lightly. See that, a little bit of brown, still chewy, still soft. So squishy. So here's the vegan mayo. I like to get veganaise or just mayo. Those are my favorite vegan mayos. Don't skimp on the mayo, guys. Come on. Like, you gotta have that juiciness, you know? Lettuce first. One, two, three. I would say four is enough to get the point across with this. Then we have our juicy tomatoes. I don't think you understand how happy I am right now. Do you see what I'm talking about with the ciabatta bun? You see how it curves around the edges? So it almost like encapsulates? Do it like I didn't have long. Like I can't even tell you how good this is. Oh, he got a big bite. He got a big bite. What do you think? So guys, listen up. If you wanna make this recipe, it's on my blog. It's super easy, it's cheap, it comes together quickly, 
and you get big results. And that's my favorite kind of recipe. It's one that doesn't take long, it's easy, and you can do so much with it. So definitely check out my blog, MississippiVegan.com. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.